already in the process of breaking down. There's an EPs coming up everywhere. Uh, that we would turn this part, but we turn this part into a worm farm. We have worms, and we can start growing worms in a pretty big area here, and you know use them for other parts of the garden. And here, and then we're going to plant comfrey in the in the cracks. So a uh, worm and comfrey farm, and we're moving it to the next. Uh, elevation or evolution of, of soil building and, and growing comfrey, so we can have comfrey here as a fodder crop for mulch and for making comfrey tea or for medicine. Uh, that, those are the. So when you have to, when you hit the ground, you got to figure out what can you do from what the way you have. And it was devastating to have this, this. Uh, these deer come in and eat things. Then we have some beds over here that aren't, aren't planted, so maybe we can get some some false crops in there, some lettuces and some peas and stuff. So I think we're all going to kind of divide up and work on different different areas over here. Uh, what else would you like to say about? It? Just being very thankful. Thanks for you all to be here. It's, uh, it's a concept for me is to have the tribe to grow this concept where the tribe comes driving up as the regional lands or any of the people within the tribe walk up and they, they'll have the aha moment. Since now we see how it works. Because again, there's really no situation like this being, well, there's the other ones that we got, but it's the value of how, what this property has to offer from phase one, let's feed the kids and elders, phase two, let's Let's develop this property, then phase three, let's turn this bathhouse into some kind of wellness center. So we get welled up, and you know, so we all have our aches and pains, so let that be a, a wellness center for, for pain. But so far, when I went to the council and went to the, my elders and my culture and preservation committees and asking them about the healing plants for pain, and they say those are our culture plants. As well, then how are we going to use them? How can we use them? How can we take advantage of them? And, uh, somehow, it's, uh, they don't want to let them go. You know? okay, they're worried about you know those kind of plants going where they'll go and be taken advantage of. And another <coughs> idea he had was to plant medicinal plants for diabetes, healing diabetes. And uh, Nepalis is a is a really good diabetes. Uh, vegetable. And uh, one of these beds could be, or this bed, when it finished uh, it's, whatever it's doing, could be turned into, you know, or several of these beds could be turned into different plants that are good for healing diabetes, type 2 diabetes. So um, that, th this is part of the evolution. And um, I think, first of all, though, now that we lost the tomatoes, we need to figure out how to make it green again, and how to get another crop in here until it freezes. I would say, you know, maybe lettuces and, and peas and stuff. A lot like kale and Swiss chard. Swiss chard to kale, right? <laughs> we got kale seed, we got Swiss chard seed, we got some garlic seed, garlic starch. Well, what about um, green manures? Well, you know, building soil. you know, we, we, could, we could do, uh, we're growing comfrey for, as green manure. Uh, we could put one of these in green. Well, that would be a good idea because we have some problems with with grass seed in the soil that he brought in here, yeah. the very last one over there had grass coming up in it. Mm -hmm. So it's you know it's not a perfect world, you know. <laughs> so you know you got to drop back and punt sometimes. Yeah. Um, so what are we what are we going to do? One of these or one or two of these beds could be put in cover crops. Okay. Yeah. So we have all these tomato beds that may not come back. These you know if these things revive, they still may not. It's too late to produce yeah. tomatoes. Okay. So maybe. Maybe we put these into cover crops, mm -hmm. and you know, I'd say a rye crop would be really good uh, if we had some rye seed, and we maybe could get some rye rye grain seed. Mm -hmm. And the cover crops they would grow all winter long. And then you have the biomass. I think it has some rye uh, berries at the store. You have rye grain. Yeah. Good. You have it here locally or not? Yeah. Well, that's something we could, um, we need to plant, uh, we could just actually plant it right in the mulch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you go get it? Oh, listen. <laughs> so, this is, this is a stream of consciousness starting. Yeah. Uh, and we're opening it up to the universe. And, uh, 
She's got the rye. You have the idea of cover cropping? Yeah. What about uh, fathers? Fathers would be great. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Got kale and there you go. Wow. There's a on all our trees outside, you know. <laughs> so that's it's a guy thing, yeah. <laughs> Let's maybe plant this. Natural. <laughs> you can plant this in Y if you would have any objections to that. And we'll can, uh, we're going to divide this comfrey up, maybe cut the, and cut the, uh, every one of these roots can become a plant. So we can just take this thing right here and, uh, you know, cut this off so it's not stressed, and then just we'll take a trowel and we'll put it in the seam, and you know, put some more manure in there, or maybe, and probably don't even need to, and then water this in, and every about every foot we can plant a comfrey plant, and then um, what else we were? Oh yeah, oh no, yeah, and then we're going to plant worms in here. We're going to just uh, put some more manure in, and put the worms in here, and. Uh, maybe make some indentations so we can break some of these up a little bit, okay? We're going to have two and a half months of, of, of growing season in here, okay? And probably more than that for work. Because they're very, they're going to go down inside here and, and be down in the bottom of the bale by the time it gets really cold. And then you're going to have, this whole thing's going to be worms. So it's going to be a solid bank of worms. It's be amazing how they'll, they'll grow into a ball keep from freezing. So, I mean, I have worms in my outdoor garden all winter long, all for 25 years. Somebody could start breaking this comfrey up and uh, maybe cutting off the, I think it's a good idea to cut off the leaves uh, because it's, uh, or you could just leave them on, they might just revive. I think they might just revive uh, if we get them water. They were nice and uh, um, juicy this morning. But they're, they're a little bit wilty. I think they're. I think they'll leave them off. Let's get this plant two of these beds and juice. I went to lessons. Okay, great. Let's leave the leaves on. After we get done with that, we'll put the worms in here. There's two buckets of worms. This is worms. And I think this is worms. Can you walk out how much uh, rye?